Why are more people not buying Terra Luna Classic and Shiba Inu? Watch this video until the end and you will find out why. Be sure to smash that like button and I'll keep you guys updated with more news on what's going on. But we do have a theory on why people have not bought crypto right now. They're diversifying. They're diversifying into real estate. So I'm your host. Be sure to smash that like button. Um, and this time we're going to be looking why home prices haven't really crashed yet. That's a pretty, pretty um, crazy one. You know, the home prices have been rising. Um, if you're either living in suburbs, if you're living in an urban area, hell, if, and if you live in desert, um, it's going to rise. Even if you live in, like in, a, in, in Canada, somewhere like in the wilderness, the prices have risen. And that's just because, not because there's more people on earth and there's little land. That's because people have been buying lots and lots of homes as equities basically as instead of buying shiba inu a lot of people have sold their shiba inu and bought real estate um so what's gonna happen with home prices um and what's what does this mean for the crypto market like a lot of people are waiting for a crash and they cashed out their crypto um some even at a loss just to buy it uh for the right amount so the home prices they're just waiting for it to fall down either to buy it for an investment either to buy it for family but people are waiting and once this is over uh people could start selling their homes and reinvesting into crypto and stock markets i guess it's just not a time but when this happens uh shiba inu could triple easily it could do even a 5x who knows but let's check this out fall and it's going to cause a massive negative wealth effect in this video, we're going to talk about the coming decline in real home prices, why it's going to happen based on reliable leading indicators, and what it's going to mean for the rest of the economy and the developing 2022 recession. To start, we're going to be looking at real home prices, or home prices after adjusting for inflation. Why real home prices and not nominal home prices? Real home prices are much more impactful for the wealth effect. Many people invest in real estate as an asset to beat inflation. If inflation is 10% and your home goes up 15%, you beat inflation by 5 So that's what people are doing. They're buying homes. They're buying homes um, so they can do actual stuff. And really awesome video overall, but they're buying homes to, to protect themselves. For example, even if Shiba Inu rises and the dollar is less worth, um, what they're trying to do is just save themselves from inflation. This chart shows real home prices since the night. Like, look at this. Look at how much it's rising, like 2009 crash. Now we're seeing overprices since 2009. Like, in, back in 2009, a real estate really crashed. And uh, not even by that much, you know, it did crash a lot. Uh, but, but we haven't seen, you know, the markets drop at all. 1970s. And you can see that real home prices have declined several times mainly around the recessionary periods. The 2000s recession was an outlier in which home prices rose in real terms. The financial crisis in 2008 caused home prices to decline almost 30% in real terms, and it took until 2021 to regain the peak in real home prices from 2006, 15 so it needed 15 years to recover where it is today. Are we going to be seeing a bigger price crash for real estate homes? Um, and how is this going to affect Shiba Inu? In years, if we look at the growth rate in real home prices, we can see that real home prices were rising at a 13% annualized rate in 2021, higher than the peak rate of home price growth in 2006. Real home price growth was positive from 1996 until mid-2006. 10 straight years, which created a prevailing belief studying leading interest rates. The spread is way more informative than the mortgage rate itself because the spread represents risk. In this chart, the spread is inverted, so a wider mortgage spread is shown by the green line moving lower. Mortgage rates can decline because treasury rates are declining or because mortgage spreads are tightening. Declining treasury rates can reflect worsening economic conditions, which is why we have to separate whether the mortgage decline is coming from the treasury rate or from the spread. A widening mortgage spread preceded the decline in 2007, and a tightening mortgage spread was a strong indicator of a recovery in 2010. There was a false signal into the 2000s recession. So people are saying that real home price growth will decline, um, but... Is it going to really, you know, it did go back up and people are saying that, you know, this is it. The price is going to go down 
Uh, nobody knows for sure. Uh, everybody thought so, but not really, you know. So we can predict something, but right now, homes are the king. And that's why people are sold their Shiba Inu coin. I'm still bullish on Shiba Inu coin. I mean, a lot of people um, have bought. And once this got, gets solved, I mean, a lot of you have probably saw the prices of real estate overall. And when this gets solved, like uh, Shiba Inu could actually double or even triple um, not even with inflation, like that's going to be the big thing. I think a lot of people will be able to afford homes. Um, and we haven't seen much of actually homes declining because this is a huge factor for Shiba Inu's prices as well. A lot of people are not putting in stocks and crypto anymore. But again, as I said, when people realize the potential of SHIB, the, the metaverse, everything like that, that's when I'm really bullish on this. That's when I think Shiba Inu could actually double or triple. Uh, that's because people are going to be putting back the money from crypto, um, once the inflation is over, once the gas is over or gas inflation is over um, into what should be. And that is SHIB, like that is uh, external investments like Shiba Inu and stocks. Like a lot of us want to see Shiba Inu grow um, and hopefully so. So real home prices are going to decline and we are going to be seeing negative wealth effect. Um, and it's going to amplify economic downturn. So if you guys are waiting for the prices to drop uh, of the real estates, uh, that's going to be even worse for the market than it already is. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Be sure to smash that like button. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll leave, uh, like a really awesome video. Be sure to check it out from EVP Macro Research. Till next time, peace everyone.